Hello everyone, myself Fatima Ali and my group members are Muhammad Atif Hamid and Sadia Ijaz. Today, I'm going to introduce you with an open source SQL vulnerability scanner, which is White Video. So let's get it started. Introduction. What is White Video? White Video is an open source automated SQL vulnerability scanner that is capable of running through a file list or can scrap Google for potential vulnerable website. What is the target environment of White Video? It's Linux. And the programming language in which it is designed is Ruby. It's commonly used for application security, penetration testing, and vulnerability scanning. Its target users are pen testers and security professionals. Now, what are the main key features of White Video? The first main key feature of White Video is it can look at potential vulnerable websites or it can automatically format files. The next main feature of White Video is it is capable of finding vulnerabilities in websites by scraping Google using over 1000 different queries that are carefully searched before edit. It also uses different SQL injection approaches. The next main key feature of White Video is White Video is a powerful open source vulnerability scanning tool which is capable of crawling a web page for all available links and then it search vulnerability in each link using the program and build a file feature. The last and the most important key feature of White Video is after the completion of scanning tasks, you can find some SQL injection vulnerable websites and then in and then you can run SQL map directly from the program. The thing is, once you are sure that you have detected a vulnerable website or the website that has vulnerability, you need not to clone any other repositories or file to launch SQL map because you can directly launch SQL map from this program. Now, what are the pros or what are the advantages of using the white video? The first advantage is it allows file formatting. Basically, it allows automatic file formatting. It allows random user agents, IP addresses, server information, multiple SQL injection set syntax. But the main advantage of using the white video is its ability to launch SQL map. Once you have detected a vulnerable website and you are unsure that you have website you have detected a website that is vulnerable you can directly launch sql map from the program and you need not to go to any other repository or file this program was created for learning purposes and in, is intended to teach users what the vulnerability look like basically it's designed for educational purposes installation you can install this tool this powerful tool by following these simple steps. Now, let's install this tool with the help of these simple steps. There are two ways to install the white video scanner package. Either you can clone the repository or you can manually download the folder from the link. The first way is to download the Thor or zip file from this link. Let's see how can we do it. Simply go to this link and download the zip folder. As you can see, it has been downloaded. The next phase to clone the repository by using the command get clone. Now extract the white video master package. After downloading, change the directory to clone folder or the folder in which you have downloaded the white video package. In my case, it's download slash white video hyphen master. Now, to install all the dependencies, follow the following template or you can simply download all the 
dependencies using command line bundle install. You may experience a problem installing on Linux system. To fix the problem, you can follow the following template or simply you can write these command line. And this will install all the required dependencies. Let's discuss the first mandatory flag of wide video scanner, which is hyphen f file name. What will hyphen f file name will do? It will run through a specified file in which there is a list of URLs and try to find the vulnerabilities in those sites and see whether they are exploitable or not. For this, first thing we need to create a file, simple text file in which there is a list of there will be a list of URLs and then with the help of command line to be white widow dot rp hyphen f file path we can find out whether the URLs in the list are exploitable or not. See, it has displayed the banner of white widow and now it will see whether the targeted URLs are exploitable or not. If it is not, it will dump it to non-exploitable text file. As you can see, it is dumping the URLs to non-exploitable.exe. The next main functionality of white widow scanner is hyphen s. Hyphen s or spider URL. What will hyphen s or spider URL will do? It pulls, opens the URL and pulls all the URL redirecting from their site and making sure it is a good URL. Basically, it detects the vulnerability of all the URLs present on our site or the URLs that are redirecting from their site. With the help of this command, Ruby whitepedo.rp-s, and by giving the URL, we can find out that the URLs present on a site or on this site are vulnerable or not, or whether they are good URLs or not. As you can see, it is checking all the URLs that are redirecting from their site. In the end, as you can see, it has detect, it has not, it is unable to detect an vulnerable link on this site. It means this site, this site, it, this means this site has no vulnerable link. With the help of these two flags, hyphen F and hyphen S, we have discussed the functionalities of white video scanner. Basically, white video scanner is designed for educational purpose and the main objective of white video scanner is to teach a user what a vulnerability looks like.